What's up you guys? It is Mary. Welcome back to my channel you guys. Today I am going to be doing another review of one of the fashion shows from Paris Fashion Week and today we are going to be talking about Mugler, honey. They have their fashion show and it is not spring summer couture. It is actually fall 2023 ready to wear and it was quite interesting because they're obviously supposed to be doing couture but when I looked and before I even did the research because usually what I do is I watch the shows I jot down my notes about what I think of it I write down you know the aesthetics and what I think the concept is because I usually do a guess before I actually go and research what the concept actually is um I really thought that it was giving me one rebel and then two I felt like it was giving like bad chick vibes like i'm that girl like look at me yes i have it going on and what and what and what that's what it was giving me um uh, because you know obviously the show has not actually officially aired i have not seen any video of it like the full show on youtube yet but i have seen a bunch of clips on tiktoks on instagram and all that stuff so it just seemed like it was really crazy like there was a lot going on like there was this one girl who snatched the purse out of jt's hand and at first i was so upset i was like who the hell does that but apparently it was um all on theme because apparently mugler is actually debuting a new purse i think it's called the spiral purse or something for their collection so it was really she was a part of the whole incident and everything so i thought that was, so i thought that was cool um but yeah, Mugler really came out with a bang. I felt like they definitely, for the most part, he said that, um, I think the inspiration for them was that it was sexy, sexy, risque, and outrageous. They wanted to basically kind of show, like, during Couture Week, they're supposed to be doing a Couture collection, but they decided, we're going to do a fall collection because they're bad. So I felt like it was definitely giving me rebel feels for the whole entire collection, and that's kind of what they confirmed on Vogue Runway. So we're going to go ahead and get into the aesthetics for the collection. Really for the collection, of course, Mugler, they have their signature cutouts. They have their super tight and fitted, sexy silhouettes. Really risque, showing a lot of skin. And they kept within that theme. They had, for their for their fabrics, they had leather, they had denim, they had lace, they had a lot of sheer. They had, like, um, stretchy black lace as well. Um, and then they had a lot of zippers as well. They had lace stockings, they had corseted jackets, they had knee-high boots, they had lace shorts, they had corset underwear, they had ruche denim jackets, which the ruche denim jacket I really love because for my senior collection, I did a modest collection, which was basically all in denim. And I thought it was so cool that they did the ruching with the denim. Because, I mean, obviously the denim has to be very light because you cannot do ruching with any type of denim at all okay so i thought the denim jacket was quite cool i really love the ruche i thought the one was very beautiful very well done for the colors they have blacks they have whites they have blues they had brown and they had one red dress <laughs> they just threw a little sprinkle just a little sprinkle just a taste of red in there because mainly it was really a lot of dark colors um minus the white um, and then, of course, they had a button-up t-shirt dress with leather accents, which I thought that one was really nice. We're going to get into that one le um, later. They had a leather sheer combo. They had winter jackets with a hoodie underneath. And then they had white, white lace stockings. They had body suits. They had a jumpsuit where one girl's um, complete. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm in Africa, and we have, like, cows outside of our gate who are just mowing. I guess they're waiting for their um, person to come feed them. Um, they had they had one jumpsuit that had like her whole entire booty cheek out and then they had leather skirts They had biker jackets. They had sheer fringe um, Tops and then they had zipper cutout pants and they had lace bodysuits jersey dress with cutouts And then they had a red lace dress which it kind of reminded me of that dress that Versace had on their recent runway Show where they had um was it Paris Hilton walk in it? It reminded me of one of those dresses and then there was like a nude bodysuit that also had like a skirt on at the bottom. It wasn't completely nude, um, but the whole dress. There was a part where there was a skirt and then the top, like the top half was completely nude. Which I thought was, woo, interesting, honey. But yeah, they had chrome zippered bodysuits and they had motorcycle suits. It was quite a bit, but they... I mean, my thing is with Mugler, I mean, I know black is their, like, signature color and all that stuff, but I just felt like I get kind of tired of the black. It would have been really nice if they had a whole show where it was a little bit, like, red. And then, for me, it's just seeming like 
some of the stuff is getting a little bit i'm not gonna lie i actually really did love this collection but i feel like mugler is getting a little bit repetitive because it's kind of like i'm seeing the same thing like this time it seemed like of course a lot more of the silhouettes did seem more a little bit more covered up i guess because it i mean i guess it is winter fall i did like some of the jackets that they had because some of those jackets were really beautiful really sexy super unique and i really like the silhouette of you know this one jacket for sure which i'll get into later when i'm going and talking about the individual looks um but yeah i guess also the lace is new for them for me it just seems like sometimes me glare can be getting a little bit repetitive because i do know because then also it's kind of like you're kind of i mean obviously mugler was there first but it seems like mugler and laquan smith are kind of kidoko like a little bit like the same and i just feel like mugler is kind of doing something that are kind of repetitive like i know they have they're known for their like cut their cutouts and their silhouettes and stuff like that that show a lot of skin but i mean i guess they really did kind of edge it up a little bit with the lace you know which i think is really cool but i just i was really kind of bored with all of the black for sure i just felt like there was just too much black going on in the show um i just felt like i mean i know that's their color but i wish they kind of like will mix kind of like the old aesthetics of new glare with this newer collection with these new collections that they, that they have because i know you know manfred he has passed away god rest his soul um but you know i feel like they need to do a little bit more and kind of not stick with this whole you know cutouts and extra risque like let's try to add a little bit of creativity and more uniqueness to the the show or the um the fashion house the collections like that's just my opinion not that anything's wrong with what they currently have but i do think their collection was beautiful but when i saw that one red dress and there was nothing else there but mainly just black i just felt like it was a missed opportunity for me anyway we're going to go ahead and get into the individual looks the first look i think it was this really pretty um like this black bra that kind of had like this cut out and it's like it was actually a cut away most of her breasts underneath was like i mean of course they covered her breasts and everything and it kind of like had these pants that you kind of will see like in the rodeo like you know how they have these pants but it's like the um the the upper thigh is missing and the crotch is kind of out as well but i mean obviously it's on top of like these jeans and i think they wear this whenever they're trying to clean a horse or something so that one was interesting i do like the i don't know if that was a metal piece that was going around her neck for a necklace but the other one was very interesting so yeah that one was definitely interesting another look that i want to get into was this um this um lace body well this lace mini skirt that has like these lace stockings underneath which what i liked about this is that they kind of use the lace to kind of keep within their aesthetics of showing the skin and having the cutouts and everything i like the fact that they kind of use the lace and manipulated it to kind of keep within their aesthetics so i do like that i do think the leather gloves were quite interesting because it looks like they're zippered away and it kind of like has this circle kind of around the gloves at the back side of it so i thought that one was so i thought that one was very cool and quite interesting i did love the lace i do love how i like the shortness of the skirt the shoes i really was not a fan of i did not like the knee high boots for this collection at all i felt like they could have done without those and done something different um but yeah i like the turtleneck skirts for sure very cute another one that i thought was very interesting was this um lace skirt where it's kind of like it kind of looked like it was a handkerchief skirt but it really wasn't um and it had like these lace knee length stockings and it was kind of cut out here like where you can see like her shoulder blades and everything i really love how they played with the lace in this collection i thought it was very unique the way they did it and it was quite interesting to say the least i like the fact that they're kind of using new materials to kind of keep within their aesthetics i just think they should have added more color i do love the red pop of a lip for this one just to add some more color one that i really love was this jacket oh my god this jacket was everything in a bag of chips like it looks like 
it's a bodysuit. I think it's actually a bodysuit, which is really crazy because it will look even quite phenomenal even as a jacket. But apparently it was a bodysuit. It had these gloves. It had like this cropped hoodie underneath it. And then it has like this, um, these leather um, mm -hmm. accents that kind of mm -hmm. fall down in the front of the bodysuit. And it looks like it kind of zips up. So, I mean, it will look really cute to wear with like some pants or even like a short mini skirt whenever you want to go out. But it looks like these are some pants or whatever. And it's kind of keeping in a little bit with the cowboy theme, which I know cowboy was not on this list, but kind of reminded me like of one of those silhouettes that you will have whenever um, you're going to go clean, a, not clean a horse, but to do some labor out on the farm or whatever. So I thought this, so I thought this one was very, very interesting. I really love this one. Another one that I thought was quite cool was this this white button up. It looks like it has some leather accents in the front. I could be wrong, some white leather accents. And it wasn't buttoned up. I don't know why it wasn't, but I guess they wanted to show a little bit more skin. And then it's like, it has like this leather underwear underneath. It looks like the top is just tucked in into the underwear. And then you have these really, it kind of looks really baggy and oversized, which was quite interesting. And then it has like these leather accents kind of draped on the side of the skirt. Well, on the side of the underwear. <laughs> but I don't know. Is this supposed to be like a top or is this supposed to be like a, a mini dress? I don't know. But it's quite interesting. I love the cut of it and everything. I think it's quite nice. Now, we're going to get into the one red dress that they had in this collection. Um, which it was definitely giving me, giving me, meet me in my boudoir vibes. Just like that Fendi show that I just reviewed. Um, it was quite interesting. I kind of, it was, it was definitely like a handkerchief dress for sure. Because you have like these lace um, cutouts. And then I think the way that they cut it, it kind of like, when you cut out handkerchiefs, it's like you're cutting out the skirt in like a huge square in several different places. And then you're kind of attaching it to kind of give it like this draped cascade of feel. Cascade feel because when it falls, it kind of falls in a square almost which is like when you um, pull out a handkerchief and it's kind of dangling it kind of looks like a triangle like an upside down triangle so that's what this was giving me it looks really pretty i love how they did it i love the little hole here and i love that the um lace dress kind of goes into like these sleeves that end up being gloves and i love the lace stockings. i thought the lace stockings were very sexy for this collection i really love that they had these and I like how they use the lace to kind of manipulate you know the cutouts that they usually do now this nude, bo this nude corseted bodysuit was quite interesting and quite bold because it looks like she is wearing absolutely nothing. Um, it's quite interesting, but as I'm looking closer at it, you can see that there, um, it's a corset and it has these bustier cups, and then it's like you have these seams going across the um the sleeves and across the chest that kind of gives that same cutout feel that they have in their whole entire. You know their fashion house DNA. You know um, Mugler has these risque silhouettes and everything, and these cutouts where you can see a lot of skin. I thought this one was interesting, but it's not my fave because I just felt like it was just too much. Because I mean, you can see her nipples and everything, and it looks like she's an older woman. Uh, it looks like she's an older woman as well. I mean, quite interesting, but I just felt like maybe it could have been nude without her actually being nude, like her nudeness being seen. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me. I'm just nitpicking. But yeah, I did like the skirts. It just, I don't know, the skirts really don't look like skirts. It looks like it's underwear Then you have fabric that's attached to the underwear. Very interesting the way they did this collection. Now, one that I really, really love is this white, this really white oversized jacket with like, I don't know, I, I don't think it's fur because I know they're kind of staying away from fur. Um, it might be faux fur on the sleeves up here. And then it's like you have like these buttons and then you have like these um cutaway, not cutaways, but you have like this, um you know, like those bondage dresses that you guys sometimes will wear or whatever. I know bondage dresses used to be very popular back in the day. Whatever happened to those? I don't, I don't ever see people really wear them anymore. I don't even see them on Fashion Nova. So it looked like it had like those um strips of like little pieces of fabric kind of sewn together. And it kind of looks like it was kind of like this on the side of the jacket so i really love this i thought this would be really cute like a mugler jacket i felt like they did really great for the jacket it's really cute and you know what i would love to see um mugler do it's kind of like keeping within their aesthetic of having those cutouts and those um sheerness of the outfits but kind of doing them in different silhouettes like i think what they're doing with the jacks are very tasteful i would love to be able to see more of this like on evening gowns or like pants suits or like jumpsuits or maybe even taking a different silhouette from a different culture and kind of mixing your aesthetic with it. And kind of, you know, sexing it up a little bit. And then maybe even add 
some be like some diamonds or something with it. I just feel like I feel like they have to push the envelope and maybe they should take a little bit um a little bit of a lesson from what Manfred and Mugler used to do and kind of mix that in with the new aesthetic of Mugler for sure. Cause I feel like this can only go on for so long where you have these cutouts and you have these silhouettes and you have the sheerness. Like it can only go for so long. You know what I'm saying? Until it gets boring. So I feel like they definitely need to try to mix it up sooner rather than later. But that's just my opinion. Um, but one outfit that I really thought was a miss was this black leather. Like it just, this leather biker jacket, I just thought it was too much. Like the shoulders were too much and then I just felt like it was very ill-fitting. The skirt I thought was really cute and unique. It definitely was giving me handkerchief vibes again for sure. But I just, I hated the jacket. And I hated what was underneath that. I just did not think it was a vibe, like, at all. So I, I was not a fan of this one. Yeah, it just looked like it was too bulky and it was, like, too much going on for her, honestly. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the last look that I really loved. It was this beautiful denim jacket with the ruching. I thought it was so pretty, so sexy. It looks like it has a hook and eye to kind of um, close up the dress and everything. And then it looks like there's a corset underneath the jacket that kind of attaches to the skirt at the bottom. And the skirt is kind of like draped in an um, asymmetrical way. So I thought it was really interesting. Um, and I really love the ruching on the jacket and I love the ruching on the sleeves. I think that one was very beautifully done and I really, really loved it. I love the keyhole um, in the front for the jacket and I just loved how they did that. It looks really, really pretty. It kind of reminded me of the dress that I made not too long ago and I did a video on it where it's like you have like these really beautifully ruched sleeves. Mine's were more dramatic though and it was like made with jersey fabric. But I thought this one was very, very pretty. I love the fact that the Mugler, they're trying to push themselves, but hopefully they see this video and they take my advice. Because um, I think that they could definitely do better. They definitely should push themselves. They're a great fashion house, you know, and I feel like definitely they could definitely do more than just risque silhouettes and showing a lot of skin. Like, let's try to do something a little bit different, you know, but... um. The collection was interesting, a lot going on. Definitely rebel, bad chick vibes for sure. But yeah, I will give this show an 8 out of 10. But it was a hit. But yes, you guys, that is my opinion of the Mugler show. I invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you guys have any other thing that anything else that you guys want me to review, please comment down below. But it is Mary signing off. Bye, you guys.